Welcome back, addicts, to another show review. I'm Josh. And I am Michael. And today we're going to be talking about Rick and Morty Season 3. Uh, we're going to start off with our favorite episodes, and then we'll go into some more talk about the uh, season as a whole. So, Michael, what's your first? My first episode? Well, I'd probably go with my third favorite, uh, which would be the Rick Churian Mor- Mor- Morty date? I don't know. Yeah, the Rick Churian Morty, Morty date. date. Yeah. It's uh, it's the final episode. Uh, you have the President of the United States heavily involved in this one. And uh, it's pretty yeah. great. If you've seen the President in Season 1 or Season 2, you kind of develop their relationship. There's a couple Minecraft references in this uh, episode, which are pretty funny. Um, and uh, you get to see some real conflict between the leader of the free world and the leader of the all the universes. So Yeah, there's... Uh... For a season finale, I thought it was pretty great, too. Yeah, uh, you do have some reset of relationships between characters. We'll get into more of that in our spoiler talk, but I did like that, uh, the scene where uh, Rick comes back to the house at the very end. Um, And then you also have a scene uh, with our favorite yellow character. Oh, yes. Yeah, who's our favorite yellow character? Yeah, I guess that's a good assessment. Um, I'm going to say that my third favorite is, uh, rest and relaxation. Uh, this, uh, you know, it, it's kind of funny how it starts off. I love how it throws a twist. Uh, Morty, or I'm sorry, Morty's at school. Rick comes and says, Hey, I need you for this mission. So they go and it, then it just flashes like six days later and they've been in a galactic battle for, uh, like some planet and, uh, they actually won and they're just in there and they're like, we need a break. And so they go to this galactic spa and they get detoxed. And it's pretty funny because it takes away all their bad qualities. And so, uh, and later... Bad yeah, so, qualities. Yeah. And, yeah. It, well, it's because it's... Well, I'm not going to spoil that because that's a plot th- uh, thread in the episode. But uh, you get to see uh, just... I, I think it's fun seeing characters change a little bit than what you're normally able to see. And then also uh, you get to see the toxic versions of themselves uh, battle it out. And I just found it extremely entertaining. Yeah, I think this one, that, that episode, you get to see a lot more, a different side of Morty that you haven't really seen in the first couple seasons. And you don't see again in the third season, really. Yeah, it's actually something I'll probably mention in our spoiler talk. But it's, like Michael said, it's pretty interesting to see the contrast of his character. It's my turn. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll go with episode three, Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> uh, not for the meme. The meme is good, but it doesn't make the episode my favorite. I like the... Um, there's a guest star in this episode that I really like. One of my um, favorite guest stars. Yeah, it is one of my favorite guest stars. You have uh, Rick against the Mafia, and you get uh, like a side story of like a mythical pickle that the Mafia fears, and it's pretty great. Um, you also have some scenes with rats, which the, uh, you, you actually, that was like the reveal at Comic-Con, I think like three or four years ago, yeah. where they revealed season three. And that's really awesome scene, especially the ending with the stronger rat or whatever. Um, <laughs> that watching that episode reminded me so much of like Die Hard. Yeah. Uh, it's class. You get so- classic Rick in this episode. Yeah. Um, you also have towards the end of the episode, you have, um, a psychologist, um, who, who has a very interesting take on Rick. Um, and poop and yeah so the principal is there in this episode as well yeah <laughs> you'll find out how he's related to anything but um principal is a gentleman yeah so great uh my second favorite is going to be uh the rich uh episode one uh the rick shank redemption and uh i mean to me this mo- uh, this episode has basically everything that you love about the entire show into one you know and uh there's just so many things that it just flips on its head from where you see it from the last season and um you know we get to see rick at prison and uh morty and summer trying to break him out and how uh rick becomes top dog again so at least in the eyes of the family and it's just a really great way to start off this season yeah, that's my, actually, that's my favorite episode. So I won't add much to that except uh, the sauce. Yes. This is how we got the sauce and uh, the, which we've had, by the way. We have had the sauce. We could do a 10-minute yeah. review bit video on it. <laughs> the first food review? Yeah, that's uh, coming to the channel soon. We could also write it on the website, like three paragraphs about the sauce, but I think that's unnecessary. 
We'll just have a 10 minute video about it. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, my favorite episode of the season is, um, gotta look again. It's episode seven, uh, the Rick Lantis mix up. Uh, which uh, it's it throws you off so much, uh, which it's not a big thing because you see it in the first like 15 seconds of the show. Uh, but basically, Rick and Morty are on their way to go have an adventure, and we get to see other Ricks come and say, "Hey, do you want to sign up for helping? Um, you know, like the relief project for uh, the uh, Citadel?" And he's like, "No, I destroyed that. <laughs> so no. we're never going back yeah, there we're never again. Going back. It never has and, any." uh importance on our lives ever again yeah and then they're just like oh you're him and then they just go off but then we get to see this great i guess it's like a one-off side story thing but it's really important half we, training day half mentoring candidates yeah, yeah it's uh it's called tales of the citadel uh i love how they open that up by the way where you see all of them and it's just a great episode that you know we get to see kind of how that works and how it can play into the plot later and there's uh a returning character that was really nice to see especially since how long it's been so yeah you you kind of have uh that that episode i wouldn't say it's like the uh episode with the aliens it's not a Shyamalan, mm -hmm. but you do have quite a lot of twists yeah in it uh and the ending's really great i like the the song at the end Yep, no spoilers. <laughs> but there are going to be spoilers now, so this is your spoiler warning. Um, which, we'll put a timestamp in there for our rating at the end, if you guys want to skip this part. Um, but going into our spoiler talk, I kind of wanted to talk about, yeah, I know I butcher talk a lot. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the plot, just in general for the season, and then where you think it will go. Um, okay, so plot for the season, you have Rick, and at the end of episode one, he has that rant basically saying i'm in control of the family i only saved you because they wouldn't accept me if i didn't come back with both of you guys or whatever <laughs> i don't care about either of you i'm just here and i'm gonna rule the family and then after uh the last episode you have kind of a equilibrium where uh because over the course it's this season where the divorce actually does happen yeah yeah and jerry moves out and then he moves back in at the end of the season um so you kind of get that that progression in the characters and that's I would say that there's a lot of one-off episodes in this. There's there's several one-off episodes, mm -hmm. but there is more of a plot concerning the main characters and the family. Yeah, this is really where the 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 show starts having the importance of watching each episode um, a little bit more. I mean, you could still watch it however way you want, but it's really rewarding to watch it in order now because, like Michael said, they have these like the main story of the episode is very much a one-off, but you know the the this kind of like underlining uh progression of these characters is starting to build and build and build i mean just looking back from season one i love how much morty has changed you know it used to be you know somebody's like ah i can't do that that's bad you know like i don't agree with you rick shut up you know that's not how the world works i refuse to believe that way and then we get to see how you know rick's uh influence has really corrupted him in a bad way you know to the point where We've seen him become a little bit more um, dehumanized uh, a little bit, uh, not not have the values he once did, which is one of the things that I really like to see in um, the rest and relaxation because, you know, really the only thing that separates our Morty and uh, evil Morty is, uh, you know, his, what he thinks is his weaknesses. You know, if he overcame his weaknesses, he would be exactly like Evil Morty. And yeah, you I get think, almost a Wolf of Wall Street parody in that episode. Which is, it's great. Yeah, it's I really love that. <laughs> it's like, he's just like, you little devil. <laughs> At the end. Uh, but I just find that uh, really interesting to see because I think that if this would have happened in the first season, you know, we probably would have just seen a really confident Morty, but not a, necessarily a bad Morty. But because of Rick's influence, you know, we've seen him basically turn into a villain that's just not confident enough to, you know, take what he wants. And so I find that uh, really interesting. Obviously, there's still some lines there, but, you know, you can even see that in the end of season one or the end of episode one where, I mean, he he literally thought he killed Rick, you know, and it was, you know, yeah, it, it, was, it was a mental breakdown, yeah. I think, but. So, I mean, they did it in a way that it's like, you know, dark comedy, but it's one of those things, if you really look at it, it's like, you know, 
He was really if, if he pushes with... wrong, if one last push, you know, could be his turn. And so <laughs> that's a great scene, man. Yeah, uh, but that's just something I, I, you know, I like. You know, there's a lot of characters I think they do really well in terms of because you know they got side characters, but they're not necessarily important or shown a lot in terms of the overall story, at least right now. But they're setting up to where they could add them later. You know, like for. Uh, well, is a bird person and phoenix person now? I don't know uh, which way phoenix you person and yeah. what's her name? Tammy. Tammy. Yeah, like she was in one scene, and I thought she would play a role as like a villain in the season, but she wasn't in the rest of it. Yeah, I'm really curious. It's to like see. her and Evil Morty are gonna get together. I don't know. It's yeah, that's like one of those where they could do that, but I don't know if Evil Morty has that. Mind. I feel like if Evil Morty did team up with them, they he would use them. Like at the end, he would probably burn them. You know. Uh, just for what he wants but i it's just really interesting to see like you know that set up with uh the the federation and then also having uh you know evil morty his his motives are very interesting because he doesn't even have a problem killing himself other versions of himself you know as we've seen from like what season two season one where uh he you know made the whole dome of just tortured mortys you know so he does not give a crap no <laughs> And that's, I mean, I like the show. You, we can speculate all we want about, like, the future, but sometimes it's, like, sometimes you just want to watch Rick and Morty and watch, you know, Interdimensional Cable or... Yeah. You know, I, yeah. Because at its core, it's just a funny, dark comedy that makes fun of, you know, everything else that's popular about the genre. You know? Yeah, I think that's what set us, sets it apart in some ways, is that it's not like, oh, I can't wait till Rick fights this person. It's like, no, yeah. I just, I can't wait till what the writers come up with. And then I get yeah. to watch. I can't wait to see more ad libbing put to animate or animation put to the ad libbing. Uh, which, yeah, I mean, obviously that's the best part, you know, of the show, and it's why so many people fell in love with it and why it's popular now. But I just find it really interesting to see them add these story elements, and I'm really curious to see if they do, you know, expand on these story elements. If uh, if it'll take away a little bit of the core of the show. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll have to see. I think the fourth season's going to be very important mm -hmm. as far as for the rest of the show and where it's going to go. Yep. And I guess they're confirmed for a bunch more seasons, right? Yeah, it's uh, I forget now, but I think it was around 30 or 40 episodes that they signed them off for. So that's, you know, roughly, you know, or maybe it was, maybe it was higher than that. Uh, but at, at least they have like three seasons for sure that are going to be still coming. Yeah, in the next uh, 10 years, we'll get three seasons. That's great. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it'll probably... <laughs> Let's let's be a realistic here. It's ten years to the next season. Yeah, so, that's about right. That way you don't. Get so your come back in ten years, you'll get to see our season four review. Yeah, not because we're lazy, but because that's when it came out. Exactly. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll even do episode by episode. You never know. Maybe it's very possible. Uh, if that's the case, I'm sure there's going to be. Oh gosh, it'll be hard not to quote things at that point. But yeah. we're, we're open to it. But um, you have any last? Uh, I guess they should give our ratings, right? For this oh, yeah. Season? Okay. Uh, it is this amount. So, why don't you start with the rating? You brought it up. <laughs> okay. So, we updated our rating system. It's still not perfect. It's so still not don't perfect. Don't try to remember it right now. But, but, you know, there's garbage. There's, I can't believe it's not better. There's, what, what is what mediocre? Yeah. <laughs> mediocre. There's uh, gotta have it. And gotta there's... Have it. FFA, um, with FFA being the top and obviously garbage being the worst. I think this would be a gotta have it if you're into season one or season two. I think it would be high in that category, so probably like a high eight. And uh, I really enjoyed the... There's a lot of good episodes in this. I think the... Uh, I can't really... I mean, I may be wrong, but I can't really pick out a music episode that... A music, so like a song in this season that i really enjoyed oh there yeah there is a couple songs but there's, there's a couple songs but it's no moon men you know <laughs> yeah but um so that's kind of what where i i wouldn't give it a, a nine or an ffa is just because of that i like the music a lot i've listened to that from like season one and season two but um as far as like the plot the one-offs the episodes that i mentioned really enjoyed those episodes episode one i think i can go back and watch that anytime because it's got um uh, Nice elements even has a 9-11 reference. Yeah. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they'll be able to do that again, but I would be open if they do that kind of <laughs> edgy humor again. Uh, I don't know. You know, for me, rating-wise, it's really hard. I do want to give it a 9, uh, but I'm going to stick 
to a high eight like Michael, I gotta have it. Uh, just because, you know, for me, I think it's probably my favorite season, and that's mainly just because uh, there's only like one or two uh, I didn't really really like. Uh, most of the episodes I really got behind. Uh, but there are some components that the other seasons have that this one doesn't, you know, like interdimensional cable and, you know, uh, you know, there's some other things like, I know people point out where it's like, oh, I miss Rick's burping. He doesn't do that much anymore. Or, you know, some of the jokes, uh, are maybe more geared to one side than not. So I understand those. And for that reason, you know, just cause it's changed a few things. I think it's on, I can rate it on, uh, on par with the other seasons, but for me personally, I think it's probably my favorite as a whole, at least. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be hard for me to make a decision on that. I'd probably I could debate that for like ten minutes, but I don't know. I don't know what'd be my favorite series season, but it's definitely worth watching. Yeah, it definitely. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of. Uh, if we go back and do uh, like a top ten uh, episodes from the whole show. So I don't know why we would want to do that because, that because it's going like ten years. Yeah. So we yeah. have all that time, but it's true. But anyway, guys, that'll conclude this review. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of our videos on our channel. Uh, you can check us out on SoundCloud as we have our podcast come out every Sunday, Monday, whenever we <laughs> get around Whatever. to uploading it. Uh, called Intervention Prevention. We'll have links down below for that. And you can follow us on social media too. So anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Later, addicts. Later.